Developing this morning, Franklin Community Schools says trace levels of dangerous toxins were found on two elementary school properties just last week. Still, school officials say the students, the schools are safe for students and they plan to open schools. On time next week, Nina Criscolo has been gathering more details overnight. And Nina, of course, maybe regardless if they should or not, I'm, I'm guessing parents are worried, but Absolutely. do they need to? Yeah, school leaders say they should not be worried okay. at this point. While they found traces of dangerous chemicals in the soil at both Needham and Webb Elementary Schools, they were all significantly below protective levels. Here's a satellite image of the properties. Here's Needham Elementary, here's Webb down here, and these little dots show where they took those soil gas samples. This was all prompted by tests that took place in June at 14 nearby homes. Homes. Nearly half had dangerous levels of radar, which can cause lung cancer, and one had 18 times the acceptable level of trichloroethylene, which can cause kidney cancer. The homes and schools are near the former Emphenol Corp site, a 15 acre property that Edison Wetlands Association said released toxic chemicals for decades. The site was used for manufacturing electrical parts from the 1960s to the 1980s. A company called Enviro for Forensics did the soil and air testing at the elementary schools. The air samples came back clean. It was the soil gas samples that had trace amounts of the dangerous chemicals. The school district says the levels were low enough that the Indiana Department of Environmental Management does not require any further testing. Still, Enviro Forensics started sub slab sampling at both schools yesterday. In a statement released Tuesday, Franklin Community Schools Superintendent said, based on the initial findings and bar unexpected results from the sub slab sampling. We are excited that the Needham and Webb families, in addition to all FCS families, will be returning to their schools on August 8th. That is the original start date for schools. Results from the sub slab sampling and more details are expected to be released at a community forum in Franklin this Friday. If you want to know more information now, though, we have those air and soil gas test results and more information at wishtv.com.